Peggy 18. Hello everyone, this is Master from Team Ninja. Today we're going to have some fun with the Wolong Fallen Dynasty demo. For those that may not know, this demo is available now on Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5. The trial will end on September 25th, so we encourage everyone to take advantage of this demo while it's available. Let's get things started. At the beginning of the game, you'll have an opportunity to create your character. You can then select the phase you think is best for your playstyle and skip the tutorial if you're ready to jump into the action. Depending which phase you select, you'll be given certain stats, magic, divine beast, and equipment. My melee weapon for this phase is a straight saber. It's a balanced weapon, but hopefully I'll have a chance to pick up a second one with a bit more power, like a glaive. Maybe one of these enemies will drop one. For some of the enemies on the map, you can sneak behind them or strike from above to get some quick kills and avoid confronting too many enemies. I won't be able to avoid this one, but he shouldn't be too hard to take down. As you progress through the mission, you'll notice different routes to explore. Some areas may be more challenging than others, but there could be some good loot or flags that you can place to help raise your fortitude. It seems like there's a lot of enemies here. I don't want to face too many with my morale this low. Remember you can also jump and climb up short walls to reach different areas. Here's a place where I can put down a flag and also avoid those enemies. Make sure when placing battle flags down that you take a quick second to level up your character stats. Nice, I was able to find a glaive. I'm going to equip that real quick and it should help me take down some enemies. During battle, you'll notice that the spirit gauge moves right as it fills up and moves left as it depletes. The spirit represents the tension during battle. It will increase as I land and deflect attacks, but will decrease when hit. When spirit is high, it can be used to unleash powerful wizardry spells or martial arts. If my spirit is completely exhausted, it can leave me vulnerable to enemy strikes. A healthy balance of quick strikes mixed with wizardry and martial arts during battle should avoid leaving you open to attacks. Here's a stronger enemy, but I should be able to take him out with my glaive and saber. He's not as easy as the other ones, but if I use the right attacks, I should defeat him quickly. He also dropped some good loot, and I can now capture this flag. Since I've taken several enemies down and picked up more items, it's a perfect time to level up and equip better armor. When defeating strong enemies, they usually drop good items, so it's not a bad idea to stop and check if you gain anything useful to help you in the mission. There's multiple enemies ahead, but I've raised my morale and I have better equipment. When fighting a group of enemies like this, it's important to master the deflection technique. You can defend yourself by deflecting their attacks to avoid getting hit. This will also raise your spirit and position you for your next attack. Even if you're not targeting them directly, as long as you deflect the attack at the right time, you will avoid taking damage, stagger them, and lower their spirit. It feels extremely satisfying executing a deflect at the perfect time and taking down your enemy. Human and slower enemy strikes are easier to predict, but bigger ones can be a little tricky. Even when fighting multiple demons here, I was able to deflect a few strikes and take everyone down while also raising my morale, which is a very important factor in the game. Controlling the battlefield or defeating strong enemies will greatly help raise your morale. Having a high morale will make you stronger and also unlock wizardry spells. It's also important to raise your fortitude level by locating marking flags and battle flags. Keeping a high fortitude level in the game will prevent you from losing all the morale you've gained. So make sure to explore all possible routes, but also be cautious of enemies with a high morale rank. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to fight this monster. So I'll let you all enjoy the demo and hopefully these simple tips help you complete it. I think it might be time to use my Divine Beast. 